Good morning. This is Lori at lorystampingplace.blogspot.com. And today I want to share with you a whole bunch of things. So I'm going to put you on my stand here and get this down so we can see what I'm doing. And today I want to share with you this snail mail suite. I love this set and um, it is just so cool. I'll turn it over here and you can see that if you purchase the suite, you'll get the snail, snailed it stamp set. You also get the snail dies. You will get the twine, which is like right here. Love the twine. And then, oh, here's the stamp set. And here's the dies. And you also get these um, resin hearts. They're so cute. And you will get the paper down here. And I just love the paper. Here's a piece of it right here I'm going to show you. So on this side it's this and on this side it's this. So it's double sided. And if you and if you purchase during celebration which goes till the end of this month, you can also get something free out of this little catalog here. And there's paper um, that I love that paper. Uh, this is a cute little uh, donkey, darling donkey. He's cute. And uh, this paper, uh, let me get the page here. This paper right here, I just love that, that paper. And so with $50 uh, purchase, you would get that free. And there's also some things back here with a $100 purchase that you can... Um, Right here, you can get this stamp set, a, a touch of ink, which is really cute. And there's some other things. So, you can do that. And also, I just wanted to show you um, a card that I'm working on. So, this would be one of those, um, um, oh, the name escapes me right now, but it's one of those slimline slimline cards so i used some bermuda bay and i then cut that piece of designer series paper out and put that there and i also cut out one of these um out of the from the die you can see it right here is that one here and then this is the envelope so i cut that out some envelopes i cut out with using this one down here, I cut out this little piece of paper. And from the designer series paper, I'm gonna cut this little guy out. And then I also used, um, I don't know, I got online and I tried to find the instructions, but they just give you a list of what they use, but no, no sizes, no dimensions, no how they did it or anything. So. Um, I had to kind of figure it out myself. So what I did with this piece of paper right here is I just, I just took my ribbon and I just put it around here and on the paper and traced it. And then I used this little guy right here and I put it down here and I traced it. And that's kind of what I did. Um, so the card I want to make today is this one right here. I just thought it was so cute. So let's um, see what I did here with my uh, piece of paper that I stamped on. And I don't know what I did with it. Hmm. Okay. Oh, here it is right here. And then I used a little piece of white to stamp this. Okay. So let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do is I said I cut this at eight, eight and a half by eight scored it at four and folded it and then i just lay my paper i don't even just take like an eighth of an inch off of the around it and then take matted it on there with the uh stamp and seal okay 
That's what I adhered it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think I'll use these little scissors, and I'm going to cut this out right here. And this one over here. And then I think I'll get my paper trimmer out here. And put that right across here like so. Bring this down. And hopefully I didn't cut too much. So it looks like I did pretty, pretty good. Let's just cut that out right there. And cut this one off right over here. Okay, pull that off of there. And if I have any pencil here, I'll just take it and erase it, or I can flip it on the other side. So, anyway, there we go. That doesn't look too even, so get that little snip there. And then I'm going to... I, I could use my finger blade, but I think I'll just do this. And then I also noticed on a mailbox, you have to have a slit to put the mail in. So I think that I will also erase this one, this pencil mark. And so I will take my paper trimmer and I'm going to come in probably about, hmm, you know what I think I'll do first? I think I'll put this on first, right here. So, uh, yeah, I think I will do that. So I'm going to put that on here first. Sometimes I can't get this thing to work, but I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or I don't know what happens. Anyway, there it goes. So I'm going to put this on here. Probably right about here, I think. Okay, so I have that part so far on my mailbox. And then I think I'm going to cut this little guy out. These little snails are so cute. Oh, I have to share this with you because... Part of the reason I really like this set is it has the mushrooms. And our son, Chris, he knew everything there was about mushrooms. In fact, he could have been, and I always called him, a mycologist. And he was always hoping to be able to discover that one undiscovered mushroom. <laughs> but he never did, um, unfortunately. Uh, he took his life about five years ago, and we sure miss him, but I just, when I see mushrooms, I just can't help but think about him, and I thought, wow, I'm going to get this paper, because I'm going to show you right here. Do you see? There's some mushrooms right here, and um, I just, I just like this paper. I really do. There's some mushrooms over here. So it's just, to me, it's kind of like special. So anyways, um, so I'm just going to cut this little guy out right here. And then I'm going to adhere him on my mailbox front here. So we'll just do that and i guess i'm going to also share with you that wow we have hardly had any winter here in north idaho and um this week we got dumped on and the temps have been freezing and i know a lot of you out there are having really cold temperatures and snow places that have never had snow before so i'm going to take and put a dimensional on this little snail and then I'm going to stick it on here and then I also am going to take this and I'm going to cut it as close as I can And then I'm going to 
going to cut this one right here. Put that one on there. And let me see if I can grab this little one right here. Whoa, I almost cut the whole nail off. So you know what I think I'll do? I, I cut a little too close here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Real Red. Stampin' Up! Real Red. Also, one of the other colors that I'm um, to use is the Blushing Bride. But I'm going to use this one right here. And where I get the Got Mail, you Got Mail, is on this little piece right here. So I'm going to pull it out. And I, I really only want to use that male part. So I'm going to, I could use my pen, but I think I'm just going to do this again right here. And I'm going to stick it on a piece of paper so that I don't over stamp. And I'm going to just go like that. And hopefully I can get it this time. So let's see here if I can get the mail. Mail right about here. I'm going to switch to these little ones. Here. And here. And let's see if I can... I might have to go up a little more so I can reach it. Sorry, sometimes I get talking and then I start talking too low. All right, I think that's going to work right there. Okay, so let's put this on here like this. And then I'm going to close this up so I don't get it all over me. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. While it's out, let's go ahead and let's stamp this little heart. I think it's so cute. Try to get that up without pulling off the sticky part on it. I'm going to stick this little heart right here. And I'm going to put on this little piece right here. I guess I'll just go this way. And I'm going to stamp. Oh, can you see that? I hope you can see that. I sometimes keep forgetting that I get out of the out of the frame here. It's been a while since I've done some videos. There's one little heart. Oh, I think I'll do that red. And then I think what I'm going to do is do some in the uh, the blushing bride. So. Just get that one out and do some blushing bride. And I could do masking, but I, I'm okay. Anyway, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to, that's going to go in one of my envelopes. This one's no good, so let's get that out of the way. And then I'm going to, I've got him down. Let's put this one down and this one down. And I'm going to use my little craft mat here. So if I get adhesive, it goes on here and not on my work surface. So let's just put this one on here. You got, you got mail. I mean, how many of us don't like to get mail? Especially now when we're all... Um, you know, a lot, a lot of us are staying, a lot of us, not me probably, but a lot of folks are staying in and, um, you know, it just, uh, with the way things are in the world, the world that, uh, is different now. So I'm going to put some of these. I just love these little resin hearts. They're so cute. You can see it. Isn't that cute? And so I'm going to just put some on here. And you know what I keep forgetting? I keep forgetting that I have one of these picks. And I really like it. This end has a sticky end so you can pick up sequins and things like that and put it on there. 
the other one I just had for a while and I keep forgetting. Okay, so let's get around here and put that on there. Let's put one right about here. And let's put, um, oh, that was, that was good. Let's put some up here and this little one right here. And let's put you, I think I'll put you right about there. Okay. So, I'll put that back. And then I think what I want to do is I need to cut my slit. So I'm going to get my paper trimmer back out. And I'm going to lay this on here probably... I don't know, I'm just eyeballing it, probably right about here, and I will put this up here, probably right about there, and just come in a little bit so that I can have a little slot to put my envelopes. We'll see if that's close enough. I have, uh, if I've gotten far enough, if I need to add a little longer. I can just maybe trim it with my scissors. Now let's get these envelopes going here. So I'm going to take this one and fold it over and there's they're scored already when you cut when you uh, die cut them out. And then I'm going to put this one and I just take my bone folder and do that. And um, I'm going to get some, I think the glue works better. So I'm again going to get my silicone mat out and I'm going to put some glue right here on the edge, a little bit of glue on the edge. And I found that I need to, um, get my little, uh, clips here and hold this down for a, for a few so it'll stay. So let's do that one. Let's do the red one. And I probably should have had these done ahead of time. And I meant to do that. But they don't take too long. This one here, I'm going to leave the top open. But uh, the other ones I will be closing. So let's just put that on there. Get another one of these. I'll just use a paper clip this time. And turn it this way. I hope again I'm not getting out of frame. I tend to do that. And I'm not my my granddaughter. She's so good at making videos and things. She could stop it probably and edit it and do all kinds of things. And she said, Nana, I will help you do them. I'll get you the the app that you need. And uh, I was like, oh, yippity dippity, that'll be good. <laughs> so, anyways, let's uh, get this going here. And then I got a couple more. And I, I just, I'm hoping, where I was going with that is I'm hoping I don't run out of time on this video. Sometimes you can only do so many. That's why I like to have some of this already pre-done. So... Let's, uh, let's see here. I do have some paper clips, so I'm just going to grab one here so that I can hook this together, get it to stay, and one more here. Let's do this one. You can just see these work up really quick, and you can put as many envelopes as you like, and, uh, just put that one up and I'll try to remember to also put a list of the supplies I used like the Tombow um, liquid glue and some of the other things so um, I think let's see if we're about ready here so let me see here got that I got that I got that so let me get this over here let me get my card base and this I'm going to pop up also because I want to be able to get under here. So, and I don't know if they did that 
uh, the the Stampin' Up uh, design team or not, but I am going to do I'm going to do that. I'm going to put one right here. I'm going to put one down here, and I hope you can see that. And then I'm going to put one I think in the middle, and I think I'll put one kind of up here to maybe hold that open. We'll we'll see how that works, and then we'll just peel all these little backings off and stick it down and we're just about done with this card so let me see I think I'm going to go right about your mind probably isn't as large as theirs but I didn't really know how big I was just eyeballing everything so we have that so far and then I'm going to take one of the pink ones here which I hope is dry, which it should be. I'm gonna fold down the, I almost called it the lid. I'm gonna fold down the top of the envelope and look at that, isn't that cute? And so then I'm gonna stick this one back here and I may have to cut my little slip larger because that does look to be, yeah, I just may do that. Let me do that a little more so hopefully I can get under here and cut. You know what I can do? Let me see here. I have I have one of these little blades. Let's just cut it that way. And cut it this way. Alright, let's see if that'll work. Let's see if it's big enough which I hope. Okay, let's get that one in there. And if I can only fit a couple of them in here, that's fine. And then I'm going to put this one there. My cardstock, Stampin' Up! cardstock is pretty thick, and I really like it to be that thick. And I could use that one, or I could change it out and put this blue one in here, which is pool party. Again, I'll have the colors and all that on my blog. Maybe I'll just stick that one like that. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll stick it like, maybe I'll stick it like this. How's that? Then we'll take this red one and I'm just gonna, you know, use the, oops, I said I wasn't gonna fold that and that's all right. I did anyway. I'm going to stick that one on there, in there, and I'm going to put it, I think, back here. Anyway, something like that. And I think that's a cute card. And then I'll finish off the inside also and uh, put something there. And I figure if I have this one left, um, you know what? I may stick it on the inside or something. So anyway... That's my card for today, and uh, visit my blog at lauriestampingplace.blogspot.com, or I also have a Facebook uh, Stampin' Up! share page, and you can, it's a private group, but go on there and, and, uh, and we'll uh, approve you, and, and um, you can see a lot of these ideas. So, okay, have a great day. Thank you so much.